Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Bird's Eye View. I'm the War Duck, and I am here with uh, Mr. Crow. Hello, everybody. All right, so recent news, there was this guy that, um, he was a National Guard, I think he was a National Guard member um, at Fort Bragg, and he decided that he would release some uh, documents that he shouldn't have had onto Discord. <laughs> so, so this article, now after that, is people are wondering how he got his top secret security clearance. So accused Pentagon leaker, uh, leaker's violent rhetoric raises fresh questions about top secret vetting process. And so, um, so he's a 21 year old air national guardman. So this, this Pentagon leaker, like, I don't think he would, he wasn't in the Pentagon. It's not like he no, got these I from the Pentagon, it. right? So let's so they're trying to make this a little bit bigger than it is. Now, don't get me wrong, this is very very serious. Yeah. But because it undermines national security. It's not that what he released as far as I understand it is uh like putting specific people into harm's way. It's it's not that, but what it does is it it undermines you know, any intelligence you give our enemies undermines the ability to do certain things. And then, so that's kind of what this whole thing was, is him releasing this stuff because he wanted to feel important or whatever his motivation was, uh, undermines national security and, and does put people at risk because, uh, like I said, any intelligence you give our enemies, they can use against us. Right. So they, they did say in one of the articles, or in one of the news things that this is the biggest leak since the wiki leaks but i don't understand how because you're right it, they said it's, it was it's not and and it's it, not putting people's specific people in harm's way well as much as we know like i'm i so actually as much can, as they've allowed us right to know. well yeah. not only that is i actually can't even go out and look for these documents like i can't because of my own uh, mm, yeah. position in my own security clearance, I'm not allowed to even go look to see what was said. If me okay. searching for it could cause my own self to get in trouble. Right. So, yeah. so I'm only going by like what the article specifically says about stuff and they don't go into any detail about specifics because they're not going to continue to release the information out. So makes sense. Yeah. So, as of we have blinders on, right? Because we don't know what was actually released. We're just going off what people are saying. But as far as I understand, he's not going to have like personnel and assets on the ground and locations. So that type of stuff likely isn't what he gave up. Right. And, right. and about what they're saying about um, more along the lines of, uh, our interpretations of things and and what we think that they right that's kind of what it sounded like it kind of in one thing it just reminded me of us talking about this too in one of the videos or something i've heard it was saying that uh it was something to do with the uh, national like about our national defense so, yeah i don't know details right and, and, and that's not what this article is about either no. so that's if you want to know what was whatever that that's on you but let's get back to the the for me the point of this is uh the security clearance part right because this whole article is is about how did he even get a top secret security clearance and this is where the left right now is harping on oh my god look at all these they term red flags because they want to push it toward red flag laws to take your guns but that's what this is being pushed toward that's why they use that terminology they specifically use that terminology to attack the 2a your gun rights and to tie this in to why this guy had a top secret security clearance because now if you own guns and you do this then maybe you're not right for security clearance right that's how they're pushing this information can, because they want to control they want to control people and that's the whole point of red flag laws is to take power away from people. No due process. That's the typical aspect of a red flag. I think you're 
I think you're a threat, so therefore I'm going to take your guns. And that's the end of it. No due process, no court cases, no, no facts or anything. However, let's get back to this whole security clearance aspect. Okay, so they gave him security clearance. Um, sounds like, let's see, in 2021, they gave him his security clearance. So if he's had it for a couple years. In an application for a firearms identification card, which is which is illegal, unconstitutional, and proven so, uh, in 2020, he was denied, but it doesn't say where it was from, so I'm not sure where... Well, it had to be, it had to be local, because the reason why they denied it was because the, his police department... No, no, no. Yeah, I agree with that. But my, what I'm saying is I don't know where that is because, for me, oh. U Utah doesn't have a, a, a firearms identification card. Arizona doesn't have a fire. You know, California, I don't even think has one. So I'm not sure exactly where this guy was, what state still has yeah. that on the okay. books that's unconstitutional. Well, that's the point I was getting to, right, is yeah. I don't know specifically where this where that happened. It doesn't actually say. Said, um, I get that, then said the relevant points were given uh, to the police and the school letter and any all documents were submitted to the investigator. Uh, he applied for a firearm card in, in 2018, 2019. Both were denied over concerns by his local police department about comments that he made uh, at his school that led to suspension. Okay, so now what you have is not only have... You violated his Second Amendment, and I'm not getting I'm not getting into whether this was right or wrong. Should this guy right, have guns or not? I'm just that's I'm not a judge. I'm not a court. That's not that's not what I'm saying. As it is written into law, that is a violation of his Second Amendment rights, and they're using the First Amendment against him to say. That they that they have the right to violate his can't. second amendment, right? So freedom of speech. Right. Your freedom of speech has now removed your right to have a gun. Now, was that right or wrong? I don't know. He hasn't done anything physically to anybody, so maybe, maybe not. That's not my concern. That's not what we're talking about. So I'm just pointing out like these facts that are in this article a little bit. But see, now they get into the fact that, oh my God, he was denied that. So how could you possibly give him a security clearance to be an Air National Guardsman? Okay. So, so now you have a local police department dictating his federal security clearance. That's what you're talking about right here. And that's already wrong. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm already looking at like, wait, wait, hold on. The way my security, the security that we do at work, and yeah, that's that's already wrong. <laughs> and so this is this is the slippery slope. This is the slippery slope about yeah. how the left is trying to control the narrative and trying to control yeah. people's rights. All these people fighting for against the Second Amendment are fighting for more control for the government. And that's how they control, right? If you don't have any way to defend yourself, they can do whatever they want. Just look at just look at history. All you have to do is go look at every single nation that took away people's guns and what happened to them after they took away people's guns. Every single one of them, without fail, turns into a dictatorship, without fail. All right, so... Um, so, so okay, so should this guy have gotten a security clearance? I don't know. We don't know what they actually looked into. They may have went in and looked and said, you know what? These weren't legitimate threats toward any one individual. So it's non-prosecutable. It's a bunch of nothing. There's no way for us against the law that says that we have to deny him his security clearance. Thus, his job... Because think about it, if you can't get your security clearance in the government or the National Guard or the military, you don't have a job. You, can, yeah. you, don't, you can't be there, right? You don't have a job. In fact, I remember when I was in early uh, or late 90s, um, like 96 to 2000, that area, right? That they were removing people because of domestic violence hmm. 
they were saying that you could no longer uh, have a weapon. Really? So if you had been in trouble for domestic violence, then you couldn't possibly be able to have a weapon. So therefore, you couldn't be in the army because you weren't allowed to have a weapon. Yeah. Seems kind of weird. And I too. remember them kicking yeah. people out for that exact reason. Because if you can't be That's in too. a combat arm situation, if you can't be in the... If you can't have a weapon in the army, then what, I mean, a chaplain? Well, no, because even chaplain, well, you know, okay. So, so I remember I that. Know, because everybody I know in, within that realm, even if you want to say like uh medical of some sort, right? You still carry arms. Yeah. At, at the some base, point. you're still, uh, you're still a combat yeah. soldier at the base, right? So, exactly. so, so whatever they found may not have been enough to stop that from happening, but they're like questioning, you know, he, he he said some things and but here's here's my thing. It's like, OK, you're using freedom of speech against him. Right. OK. And the left is making a big deal about it. And then so those Molotov cocktails, assassination bans. Why did this guy get a top secret security clearance? Right. OK. Keep asking yourself that. Why did this guy get a security clearance in the White House? Probably a much higher than oh, a top yeah. secret. Huh? Yeah, so yeah, you're yeah, telling yeah. me that I don't even have to ask this guy what he said to know this guy is not mentally capable of sustaining a higher than probably top secret security clearance. And what happened? He proved us all right. He was stealing stuff. He was caught. He was felony theft he was caught from airports. And then magically he spent no time in jail or anything, you know, because he was one of Biden's boys, you know. So so he didn't actually because I tell you what, if it was you, it was me or anybody else watching this right now, if you had went and stolen more than a thousand dollars worth of stuff, you would be in jail because it's a felony. Yeah. And you wouldn't be out to go do it again. And you wouldn't be getting a security clearance and you wouldn't be working in the White House. I was just going to say, and you definitely know dang well I wouldn't have a job either yep. <laughs> anymore. Okay, here's another one for you lefties. Why did this <laughs> person, why did this person, <laughs> this person get a security clearance? How? How did they no. maintain, okay, they, they transitioned during their career. How did they maintain their security clearance afterwards? It's pretty obvious they're not straight in the head, right? It's so this one now. Now stood out to me though. Now, now when, you were saying the biggest leak, right? That they were calling that. Okay, I say BS. I think this one's the biggest leak. The I was biggest leak. Say, this one stood out to me hugely because you and I discussed this five months ago, maybe mm -hmm. this. What what was going on with this person? Like so, why they were so this, yeah. So this was an this, interesting thing. This this man was married to this Russian female, correct? Then he transitioned, and he was correct. still married to this Russian female, and then this Russian female says, "Hey, you know what? You need to protect my homeland," and so gather up all these. Uh, medical records that you're entitled to and let's provide yep. those medical information on high-ranking military officers and everybody else in the military that this guy has access to to the russian government now yeah. doesn't that sound like it's a lot more serious than than maybe and what are boring. right because this specifically puts people at risk specific names of people at risk this isn't this isn't hey this is this is what the u.s knows or this is what the u.s thinks. this is hey captain blah 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 has this physical ailment use it against him or here's a sample of his dna or see because we don't know what what was provided this was in their medical records and military medical records do include your dna so you yeah, can be matched detailed. So yeah. if if somebody decided they wanted to create a specific DNA targeted virus, hey, here's General So and So's DNA. Uh, here you go. Right. So don't tell me that this 
junior airman leaked some documents that were so high risk that he put all these people yeah. in danger yeah. when this person right here put specific put people in danger. This yeah. is a much higher breach, in my opinion, than the other one. And that's a good point. You almost didn't hear anything about this. This got swept under the rug, right? U.S. Army's first trans officer indicted for spying for Russia. And you know what they didn't tr didn't charge him with? Treason. Treason? Nope. <laughs> That's exactly didn't. what I was going to Treason? <laughs> I, I, I bet you right now. I bet you money. I bet you right now that this person got a lesser charge and a lesser sentence than this junior airman will get. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. It's, it's interesting, too, because here was something that, as I was listening to some of the feeds and the information about the younger, you know, I think his name's Jack, right? The younger yeah, Jack. Uh, airman. Mm -hmm. So he's young. He's grown up with the internet most of his life. Um, and they they kind of played this off. I'll give them that benefit, right? But they were like, the father, I guess, kind of came in there and said, you know, they don't understand what they put on the internet on how the effect that it has. Because it's it's out there. To them, it's always been there. It, they don't understand the effect. And I, I think that could be due to age. However, taking that in consideration of what, okay, Jack put something out there, leaked it out, maybe showing off because you brought up that effect too i was like ah yeah i could see that he's trying he he could he's young he's bragging about his permissions and what he does in life he's proud of what he does you know and so yeah he's probably bragging a little bit however now you look at this this first transgender guy whatever been around the block many times a long time yeah. and definitely definitely knows right from wrong in this case like what he was doing and what he did is very i agree with you well and that's it's the thing very is putting something out on the internet versus specifically yeah. trying to sell to russian operative that's a whole that, i mean that's a whole nother yeah how I mean, how it, that wasn't had because motive. yeah and how that wasn't put to treason how that wasn't an automatic slam yeah. dunk into treason that they didn't even charge him with by the way did not charge him with treason, which they should have. Should have been executed for treason. But this, but goes to your point, the part of that article says social media is still new to the government. Mm, no, I don't think so. No, it, I don't it, think it's new to the government. No, 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 it is because listen, this listen this way: the internet is still new to the government. Laws have not caught up. Catch up, caught. Hmm. Laws. Laws haven't caught up. I catch. I get you okay. with that. The laws have not I moved fast enough to keep up with the progress. Social media is really only been around mainstream for the last what ten years? Ten years. Yeah, decades. Okay. So there's not a lot of laws on the books for social media. <laughs> I I I get where you're going. Now, on I'm not, the other hand, and I'm not saying this is right or wrong, but you got to think about it no, from, no, no. from the government trying to get a handle on this stuff, right? Yeah, it's like it's like they can't tell you, Mister Crow, because of your job, you can no longer be on Facebook or Discord or anything else. They can't, right? No. No. What they can say is, if you have a government device, you can't be on those. When they've done that with TikTok and, and other things. They've done that a ton, yeah. But when it goes to monitoring people's freedom of speech and stuff through social media, that's a new territory. And how can you monitor or regulate freedom of speech on the social media? And that's where they're caught because they have to monitor... And then they're like, and then once somebody says something, it's already too late. You know, that breach is already out there. Yeah. This is, this is why they hated Trump having Twitter. Right. And, 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 and this goes to all the other aspects that we've kind of discussed here is the thing is you can't regulate an individual's stupidity. You just can't. 
Because then we would be a police state, right? Then you would be arrested for stuff that you haven't done that you thought about doing, right? Like Minority yeah. Report, right? Exactly. You're going to create this, based on your activities, you're going to create this stupid move. No. Right. So, so this, this, because, and this right here also feeds into the, the anti 2A rhetoric, right? Is social media didn't leak this document, right? Why aren't they going, oh God, we got to we got to ban Discord. Somebody leaked some classified documents on Discord and you might've got people killed or something, right? Because that's the same, that's the same argument they use against 2A. Yeah. It how, is. Yeah. how, Mr. Crow, how many guns walked down to the ammo store, bought themselves ammo, loaded themselves, and then how many of those guns went on a shooting spree without a human being? Without a human? Bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. Sorry. You how just, many? You how made many, all of my math really easy. How many AR-15s walk themselves down to the ammo store and bought ammo? None. None. Yeah. Right. How many? How many leaks on Discord happened because Discord? Because of Discord? Yeah. None. none? Because I Discord mean, didn't do people. anything. Discord's just it there for people to people. say stuff, right? And this is the whole thing: is you can't regulate people's stupidity. You can't regulate people's hate. And, that, and, that, and that's the problem, right? Is these things are available for people to be as dumb as they want to be with. And that's when they get themselves in trouble. I was going to say, maybe naive is the one way I'd try to politically put it. <laughs> <laughs> but the, I don't know. So so to tie this all together is is should this guy have gotten security clearance? I don't know. Should this person have gotten security clearance? Hell no. Should this person no. gotten a security clearance? Hell no. And they both proved us right. Should this person got a security clearance? Obviously not because they proved he Jack proved that he couldn't he couldn't handle maintaining that information and therefore he breached it. So there's your proof that he shouldn't have gotten the security clearance. All this other stuff, it's freedom of speech. It's there's no specific threats. Um, however, not. they adjudicated, I don't know, but I can agree on the left that security clearance reviews need to be done much need better, much more frequently, too. Because I know I, I just I did mine, I think it's every five years. I just did my renewal. I was just going to ask you that was going to be right? my follow up question. How frequently do you have those? Done? I think it's every five years, it yeah, might be every I, three, but. See, for me, it's like I get an email and they're like, hey, you got to update all your stuff and then we'll come interview and everything. I'm like, oh, God. So then I get on there and do it. And then I totally fucking forget about it until the next time I get that email. So it might be three years, but I think it's five. I, it's, I don't know. I can't remember. I know with my work, we go through security reviews and and kind of, you know, it's the interview stuff. And every year I go through it every year. Huh. So for us, unless there's an incident... Different. Then they do it again. But if there's a so if you change jobs, they do it. Yeah. So if I get a new position, they would do it again, yeah. even though I just had it done literally this year. But um, but I think on a regular basis, I think they renew it every five. I'm not sure. And even when I came from the military with my military security clearance, I still had to do another one when I took the government job. Yeah. So it's not like they just like, okay, you have one. We'll just float it over. They still double check over things. Now, yeah, I'm thinking we only do a high level every year. I'm, th I'm trying to think. I think that's because we got a different process in place for some things that we're covering because there's a very deep one that we do. I want to say it's like every three, maybe five years. It might be five. But that's where you get like, it, it's the deep. Like yeah. review your background again stuff so and and i mean i had to file like they have access or they have the ability to access my financials i had to sign a waiver for that so they can keep track of all that you know that they they have access to all that stuff what they look into i'm not privy to any of that i don't know i don't know what they look into yeah, but but obviously there's some security clearances that are slipping through um mm -hmm. and and maybe they should take a tighter look but to all these lefties that because he had a gun or any of this other stuff that they, oh, oh my God, how did he, he had a M, he had an AR-15? How did he have a security clearance? <laughs> you know, like, 
that's 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 BS, right? It's is yeah. what do you do that shows you can't maintain this level of stability in your brain, right? See, I think I think that's the thing is I wish they would do more of the psycho what is it, psychoanalyst? Is that what it is? You know, the mental state? Yeah. Because I you and I like showing this picture again too like that was the first thing i saw that picture and i'm like we've talked about this person before this, this was like the transgender thing we brought this up a long time ago and how you and i were concerned about it just it doesn't show ability but, but see it, it's it's a for, very I'm, I'm, it's a very slippery slope and that's that's the whole point of this right is a very like none of these people that we've shown obviously should have had a security clearance. They've all proven that they should not have. Our point yeah. here is that this needs to be looked at at a higher level across the board, not just this guy uh, had an AR-15 or that he made yeah. some Recessible First Amendment stuff. protected sayings, right? Yeah. What does this guy do? What's his representation in person to people that don't know him right these are the kind of things that you might want to look at when you're doing a security clearance when you when this person goes out does he talk about stuff he shouldn't talk about is he like oh i'm air national guardman and you know i got all these guns and and uh, i got all this access to the you know and i know all these people okay that's obviously a red flag even if you didn't say anything Mm, maybe we double check or maybe you need to be retrained about what you can say right now and that's that's now, where i think hey yeah. what's your representation when you go out in public <laughs> do you look like somebody that i would trust with classified documents that that could hurt people or save people's lives or kill get people killed yeah i don't think so i i i, I don't think so this person, right? Obviously. Obviously not, because to me, this is still the biggest breach in the last 20 years. Bigger than Snowden for me. Because this puts oh, wow. okay. specific individuals at risk. It does. And I, it, you know, there was one thing you brought up, too. Not to, like, head us down another rabbit hole if we needed to, but... um, The conspiracy theory of cloning, where you're, like... You know what? We have their DNA. We have to do this. And I'm like, holy crap. You realize what if people have your DNA, what they can do? Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Well, God, man, I didn't even think about that. I was like, yeah, hey, I, let's, let's, <laughs> let's. I was, I was like, I don't want us to go somebody, down another route. Ra you know, because, <laughs> because Russia, Russia used to, well, I, I'm, I'm assuming they might still, but they used to have cities built that look American, that American city, replica American cities. That everybody yeah. in those cities speaks English, lives American lives. They put and grow up Russian operatives in those cities. So when they go to America, they are already in that culture. Nice. Okay. Now, uh, that now you clone somebody and you grow that person up in that culture. And then you snatch up that person and swap them out with a Russian operative. Okay. No. All right, that, we got now we're way off. Yeah, in the it, it's, it's definitely yeah, <laughs> but you you're starting to think the uh, yes. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, there are, there's a whole bunch of stuff and like saying there's a whole bunch of different stories out there about cloning and yeah. even about our president. Right. <laughs> so so if you think if you think that um, that they should just give security clearances to all these people, then. Um, you know, let us know what you think. But if you think they need to take a closer look and there's a lot of these people that shouldn't be getting security clearance, hit that like button, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. I want to hear your deep conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone.